And at this time, it's my uh, privilege and honor to introduce to you a special guest who's here to uh, kick off the second day of our meeting. And his presence here really signifies how important uh, the work that we're doing is. So uh, Mayor Ed Lee, Mayor of San Francisco, uh, is here and will make some comments. And before he comes up, I'd just like to, uh, to acknowledge uh, something that I find quite remarkable. A few months ago, uh, the mayor's office called us at Gladstone out of the blue and said, the mayor wants to know what's going on at Gladstone. This had never happened before. And we've had relationships with the mayors, but we've often instigated that and uh, tried to show the mayor of our city what, what a great place this is and what's going on here. But this time his office called because he was curious. So that's the kind of mayor we have who is curious and wants to know and spend his time at five o'clock in the evening to come over to Gladstone and spend an hour, an hour and a half with us. Uh, and he was truly excited and we were excited to have him. So Mayor, it's a, it's a real honor to have you here to join us. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for uh, being here today. And it's really my pleasure to help open up the second day of the Roddenberry International Symposium for Cellular Reprogramming. Now, I must say, uh, we are, of course, proud to be here, but today you may notice uh, a few people from the city of Detroit that might come through here <laughs> because I believe they are investigating whether or not uh, there was some inappropriate cell reprogramming for somebody named Pablo Sandoval. <laughs> so, so please watch out for them and don't tell them anything, okay? It's about innovation. It's about research. Uh, but I, I am so glad to be here to uh, welcome you all. Uh, I am proud uh, that our city is hosting at this symposium. It really does reflect our commitment to innovation and to the excellence of life sciences and biotechnology and to our communities that are doing so well here. You know, San Francisco, we, I often say, is the innovation capital of the world and the birthplace of biotechnology and to home to some of the best hospitals and research institutions in the nation. And San Francisco is now home to over 108 life science companies, 38 of which locate themselves right here in Mission Bay. And earlier, I had a chance to explain, uh, you know, the significance of Mission Bay to San Francisco. Literally 10 years ago, this was a railroad yard. It was the home to my golf driving range apparently as it was to Dr. Yamanaka as well. And of course, we enjoyed the game, but we used our vision for establishing uh, the best research centers that we can possibly induce to come here. And therefore, this city, I think, is part of this innovative spirit that's happening here in the Mission Bay, and I'm so glad to see uh, this symposium here and uh, glad to see so many of you that are joining to understand the research that's going on, to engage yourselves in it, because this incredible research with cellular reprogramming, with stem cell, is really going to be uh, the future of our discoveries to answer the critical, critical challenges in our medical industry and our cancers. Uh, and I uh, did explain to others this morning too, one of the reasons I will keep being curious about here is that over a year and a half ago when I was interim mayor, I came down one summer just to see what was going on in the summer and discovered that some of our best high school seniors and juniors in their chemistry and biology classes were doing the very research here in the laboratories next to world-class scientists. And they were so happy to be down here. And so I've oftentimes recreated that vision for everybody else, that our public schools and our students, if they're motivated properly, they can be serving alongside and helping to discover uh, the world's cures to our diseases. That's why I will continue being down here and talking about what's happening in Mission Bay, about what Gladstone Institute is doing, uh, what UC San Francisco is doing, uh, what QB3 is doing, and all the other uh, companies and entrepreneurial institutions that are discovering things. And, and actually, it's not just what they're doing on their own. It's the incredible cross-pollinization that's going on as well. Because this also is happening in, uh, uh, when we use the term cellular reprogramming, I can also use that term in other technology industries as well. 
because that cross-pollinization of different skill sets is also helping to discover things that we've never known about. The application of 3D technology, for example, in technology is helping uh, the biomedical and biotechnology research doing very well so that on the screen you can literally break down a cell in 3D and then uh, make sure that uh, all of the answers and discoveries can be done in a 3D possibility. You know, San Francisco often enjoys the distinction of being recognized as the center for innovation across a variety of sectors, as I've already mentioned. And today, uh, we also enjoy uh, international accolades in the most exciting and incredible way. I'd like to take this opportunity to formally congratulate Drs. Yamanaka and Dr. Gurdon for winning the 2012 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. That's an incredible, incredible work that you've done. And I had the pleasure of touring the labs in August and just was overwhelmed with uh, the demonstration that was given and one in which was the basis for Dr. Yamanaka and Gurdon for their Nobel Prize. And uh, I know that it's always going to be in my mind to just look in one of these newly designed incredible microscopes on a petri dish and see cells pumping life. That is incredible. And just to allow, as I think uh, Roddenberry would allow us to skip to the future and see what this can do for the human life cells is incredibly, incredibly uh, humbling uh, and, and such great pride for what you're doing here. San Francisco is particularly proud of Dr. Yamanaka, his ties to our great city. He completed his postdoctoral fellowship here at Gladstone Institute and is now a senior investigator. And he works at the Whittier Foundation and, of course, is an investigator in the stem cell biology at the Gladstone Institute for Cardiovascular uh, Disease. He is also a professor of uh, 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 and, uh, and autonomy here at the uh, UC San Francisco. Simply put, Dr. Yamanaka is one of our hometown heroes, and so in recognition of your contributions to the biomedical esteem of San Francisco, Dr. Yamanaka, please come up. I'd like to present to you a special proclamation. Please come up with you. Not only are you doing incredible research, not only do you fly across the world and uh, help train physicians and uh, help uh, create the conditions for further discovery, and your work with uh, Dr. Gurdon is incredibly a great basis, but now I've discovered that you play my favorite sport as well. <laughs> so with all of that, uh, please accept this on behalf of our grateful city. We are declaring today Dr. Shinya Yamanaka Day here in San Francisco. Thank you so much. All right. Go Giants! <laughs>